Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump torches media, Giuliani and Stormy Daniels reveals bombshell on North Korea. While President Donald Trump was on his way to the National Rifle Association convention in Dallas, he was on fire as he torched reporters and revealed some big secrets. The president spoke on whether or not he would speak to special counsel Robert Mueller and what he thought of former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani and what he said about the Stormy Daniels payment in Sean Hannity's Fox News show. However, that was just the beginning of the far-reaching interview. President Trump said that Giuliani is great and that he loves him but he made mistakes when he spoke to Hannity. Rudy is a great guy, but he just started a day ago, he really has his heart into it, the president said. He's working hard. He's learning the subject matter and he's going to be issuing a statement too. But he is a great guy. He knows it's a witch hunt. That's what he knows. He's seen a lot of them and he said he's never seen anything so horrible. As an example, 33,000 emails requested by Congress with a subpoena and they get burned, they get deleted and nobody says anything. Give me a break. He said. Rudy knows it's a witch hunt. He started yesterday. He'll get his facts straight. He's a great guy. But what he does is. He feels it's a very bad thing for our country and he happens to be right. President Trump also spoke about the possibility of speaking with Robert Mueller, and it appeared that he is leaning towards not doing it. The problem with sitting is this. You have a group of investigators, and they say that I'm not a target, and I'm not a target. But you have a group of investigators that are all Democrats. In some cases, they went to the Hillary Clinton celebration that turned out to be a funeral. In all fairness, Bob Mueller worked for Obama, if you take a look. As an example, at the Rod Rosenstein letter to me prior to the firing of former FBI director James Comey, he said before scolding reporters, "Just read it. Put it on the air. Your viewers don't know about it. Put that letter on the air. It very much speaks loudly. I would love to speak. I would love to. Nobody wants to speak more than me. In fact, against my lawyers, because most lawyers they never speak on anything. I would love to speak." because we have done nothing wrong. There was no collusion with the Russians. There was nothing, no obstruction, if you fight back they say, oh that's obstruction of justice, he said. I would love to speak. I would love to go. Nothing I want to do more because we did nothing wrong. We ran a great campaign, we won easily, we won that easily, that was a great day for this country, I would love to go. I would love to speak but I have to find that we are going to be treated fairly. He added that if he thought it was fair, he would override his attorneys. Speaking on the Stormy Daniels case, President Trump fired back at reports that he and his administration were changing its story. We're not changing any stories. All I'm telling you that this country is right now running so smooth, and to be bringing up that kind of crap and bringing up witch hunts all the time. That's all you want to talk about, Trump said before a reporter asked him about saying on Air Force One that he did not know about the payments from his personal attorney Michael Cohen to Daniels. Excuse me, excuse me. You take a look at what I said. You go back and take a look. You'll see what I said," Trump responded. The rumors that President Donald Trump and Chief of Staff General John Kelly are at odds with each other were also killed as the two spoke together to reporters. Kelly said it was an honor to work for a president that is accomplishing everything that the president is in terms of record low unemployment and fighting the opioid crisis. Everything is going phenomenally well, Kelly said. Then, they dropped a bombshell on North Korea. We're about to have a breakthrough on North Korea. Kelly hinted. President Trump followed that by saying that he will be announcing soon when and where he will meet with North Korean President Kim Jong-un, but he said one thing will not be negotiated. We have 32,000 troops there. But I think a lot of great things will happen. But troops are not on the table. Absolutely, Trump said. This was an unbelievable interview that will be the talk of the media for the entire day. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.